the boy sought for Tir Nanog. The boy had walked until the ground carved his feet blue. The sky had bored him. He walked until the old street was forgotten, until he was full to ragtime jazz and blues. He walked until his name was sick of lips and his eyes were marbles you could suck the water out of when you were thirsty. He would stop at rivers. They looked so hungry. Those fat dream flows, those older than God shapeless bodies, and he would think to himself, wouldn't my soul look tasty in my teeth? All the landscape vibrated. There was an off-key song in every rock, old voices drinking alone, and one day he got to the black mountain. And the boy said to himself, <laughs> surely this must be it. This grumbling stone scar, this ugly nowhere, I have made it, I have made it, I have made it to Tirna No. The boy was naked now. His once beautiful clothes were turned to dust, but his sword still existed, so he climbed with it, cutting his teeth into the mountain, pulling himself up and up and up, and the poem went down and down and down, and the pole went up and up and up, and the poem went down and down and down, and the moon crossed its arms and caught. This poet is wasting your time. And the poet said, well, what would you prefer? And the moon said, get into the top for the love of God. And so the boy got to the top of that black edge, that cosmic lump, that grand nothing. And he said, surely this is it. I have made it. I have made it to Tirana Nog. And the boy was never so happy, laughing and hawing and hooting and roaring as he gazed out at that vast, absence of language, and he said, can I open my eyes now? But there was no answer, only ink. And then the boy said, is this Tirna no? But there was no answer, only ink. And then the boy tried to cry, but there was no answer, only ink. He tried to go back, but there was no answer, only ink. And then the poet, some golden head stuck in the mulch said, do not worry, little boy. Tirnanog is real. It will always be real. You have kissed its sweet prairies with your thick moccasins. You have sailed its oceans in your vast vessels. You have danced its concretes with your tiny bones, and you are not there anymore. But of course, the boy was deaf. Sound gone to smoke, and smoke gone to wind, and wind gone to quiet. And the whole time, there was nothing only ever.